In this example, we will use the VLOOKUP function to enter the site of a professional football game here in column E. For the function, we will look up the home team listed in column D. The lookup value will be found down here on the team worksheet. We will begin by clicking in cell E2 and typing an equal sign to begin our function. We will then type V lookup, V L O O K U P, and then put an open parentheses. For our lookup value, we'll select cell D2, and we see that the home team for the first game is the Broncos. We will then put a comma, and for the table array, we'll go down to the bottom and click on the team worksheet. Our teams are located in the first column on the left. We'll select the entire table here from cell A1 all the way down to cell D33. Our table array is now set and we'll return to our formula and add a comma. So for the column index num, we'll type 4 since the site values are located in the fourth column. We will then put another comma. Finally, Excel asks us if we're looking for an approximate or an exact match. Here we'll choose false for an exact match. We'll then close the parentheses and press enter. We see that the site of the first game is Sports Authority Field at mile high. We will then copy the function by clicking on cell E2 and dragging the fill handle in the bottom right corner. We'll copy all the way down to cell E17 and see that unfortunately we have an error in several of our cells. We'll need to figure out what's triggering these errors. It looks like we've used relative cell references rather than absolute references for the table array here in our formula. Our table array will change as we move from cell to cell. To fix this, we will first need to delete the copied values in cells E3 through E17. We will then click back on cell E2 and edit the table array so that we use absolute cell references rather than relative references. A1 will become dollar sign A dollar sign 1. We will then click in between the D and the 33 and type F4 on the keyboard. This will convert D33 to an absolute reference. We will then drag the fill handle and copy the function to all of the cells below. Now everything looks good, but when we scroll back up we see that we still have two errors to correct. Now for our lookup, remember that we're looking for an exact match. The home team listed in cell D15 is the Cowboys, which is obviously misspelled. We'll change the team name to Cowboys and press enter. We'll see that AT&T Stadium is listed in cell E15. We also have an error to correct in cell E20, and when we select the home team in cell D20, we see that Bills is listed. Although Bills is spelled correctly, we notice an extra space at the end that we'll need to take out. Excel can be very picky when looking for an exact match. When we press enter though, we see that Ralph Wilson Stadium is now listed. There are no more errors to clear and we now have a site listed for each game.